it was taking me it was taking me under I was rolling back up getting a breath back under and I, you know, I was that was when I thought this is it I've been going on that beach since since the 70s since I was like five years old I have literally spent hundreds of hours in that same water and I know that it gets ripped and I've I've seen people rescued and it's somewhere I'm, I am in perhaps in my comfort zone, but I, I don't take it for granted because I know how dangerous it is. So yeah, I was that, so that was it. I mean, I'd just gone down there for a, just a little bit of a, a paddle. I was going to go no more than about here. Um, just letting, it, letting the waves move, thing, you know, move me about and, and just enjoying it. And, and then suddenly it was trying to, trying to walk up a, a, a water flume. It was that sort of, it was that quickly. You know, the current had obviously just moved into where I was, or I'd moved into it, I don't know, but immediately knew I was in trouble, you know. Initially, I tried walking tried walking back in, but um, as soon as you lifted one foot to try and make the headway, you were getting, it was taking you back, you didn't have enough, and you didn't have enough, even, even with my sort of size and weight, there was nothing, it wasn't making any difference, so I went into, um, I tried to do the, got, went on my back, which is always what you're supposed to do, went on my back, tried to go parallel to the shore to try and swim across the rip to come out of it. And it didn't didn't work. It just continued to take me back. It was when I got when I managed to be able to glance back I could see that I was a ridiculous distance from the shore already. And obviously because when you've got the, the, the swell coming in, you know, there's a point when you're absolutely no land land mass in sight and you don't know you know you don't know which way you're facing. I saw Alex first, never been so pleased to see anyone in my life. Um, yeah, he was, yeah, as soon as I saw him, it was, well, I won't say I breathed a sigh of relief because I didn't think I had that much air in me, but um, that was the first time I knew that they'd seen me or they were aware of me and they weren't, because I because I couldn't see the show and I thought, well, and I knew, I'd already seen this other guy in difficulty. I'm like, well, how many other people in my situation, have I, have I even been, are they even aware I'm here? Uh, so when I saw him, I'm like, right, thank God, you know, somebody's here that knows what they're doing. Um, and, and I sort of did feel some relief, but, he, but at the same time, I knew, I went, you know, that's, you're not necessarily out of it just because somebody's here, you know. We, we kept getting separated because it, it, the swell was so strong uh, and the washing. It's already described as being like being in a washing machine. And, and it was an unusual, because it wasn't washing us in, it was taking us out. So at one point, there were three of us clinging onto one board, hence the, you know, hence all the, uh, all the bruises. I think obviously it takes some time to get the jet ski in because the conditions were so, were so horrific. I mean, I know Alex said that it, Teresa was particularly, he's a particularly good jet ski driver. It was a while, I mean, I think it was about, it's about 15 minutes before they actually managed to get it to me and I could, I could get onto it. I mean, I got hold of it, kept a grip. I lost, I lost grip on the first, first attempt. And then it took some effort to get me back to the position where I could. I couldn't. I couldn't physically drag myself onto the back of it. Um, I ended up just holding onto the, again onto the port side of the of the, um, of the, the stretcher thing at the back. And and then she she gave it all she could to get me back in. I just sort of kept my head down and just all I was concentrating on it. It was only when it, I heard the engine cut out uh, or stall down. I sort of lowered my foot and touched something solid. That was like oh thank God. Yeah, I mean, to, uh, Alex, he couldn't believe that I managed to, thought they were going to be stretching me out, oxygen and straight to uh, Trellisk. Um, uh, he says, I, he couldn't believe that I, I stood up and sort of got myself out and was chatting. He says, I, he says that was that was fantastic, you know, but yeah, I'm a Yorkshireman. <laughs> I said, well, I've spoken to them subsequently, they were like, we, we were really, really concerned that we were going to, you were going to get you back in because it was it was so dead. You know, they they were having all so difficult to keep themselves safe. You know, let alone motivating me and encouraging me to to suddenly get the extra burst to be able to you know to push through. So shook hands, had the selfie, had a bit of a had a bit of a sort of thank you very much. And you know, you, there's not a lot of words you can say in that situation um, to people that have literally just put their lives on the line for yours.